The sum and product of the rules of quadratic equation. This is based on the most essential learning competencies from DepEd. So the objectives of this lesson, the learners are expected to describe the relationship between the coefficient and the rules of quadratic equation, determine the sum and product of quadratic equation, write a quadratic equation given its rules and sum and product. So the steps in finding the sum and product of the rules of quadratic equation is Una, we'll write the equation into standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 Malawa, identify the value of a, b, and c Pangatlo, substitute the value of a, b, and c sa formula And then simplify so, the sum of the roots of quadratic equation, ito yung dalawang roots na nakukuha natin, ipag-a-add natin. And this is given by r sub 1 plus r sub 2 is equal to negative b over a. And the product of the roots of quadratic equation, ito naman yung roots na nakukuha natin, i-multiply natin. So, this is given by r sub 1 multiplied by r sub 2 is equal to c over a. So, ayan yung formula para makuha natin yung sum uh, and product of the roots. So, let us find the sum and product of the roots of this quadratic equation. 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 is equal to 0. So, naka-standard form na siya. So, hindi na natin siya i-re-rewrite into standard form. Pero, hahanapin natin yung value ng a, which is 2. Ang value ng b, which is negative 3. Ang value ng c, which is negative 20. Then, let us find the sum. Ang sum ay negative b over a. So, substitute lang natin yung mga value. So, ang negative, kasi yun yung nasa formula, negative talaga, happy lang. And then, value ng b, which is negative 3, over value ng a, which is 2. Is equal to 3 halves. Bakit 3 halves? Negative times negative 3 is positive 3 over 2 or 3 halves. So, therefore, 3 halves is the sum of the roots of quadratic equation. Next, let us find the product. The product is given by c over a. So, let's as substitute. Ang, ang value ng c ay negative 20 over 2. So, negative 20 divided by 2 is negative 10. So, this is the product of the roots of the given quadratic equation. So, therefore, the sum and product of the roots of 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 is equal to 0 ay neg is negative 10 at saka 3 halves. No? Next, value ng a ay 2. Ang value ng b ay negative 8. Ang value ng c ay negative 20. So, in-identify na natin yung value ng a, b, at c kasi naka-standard form na c. 2w squared minus 8w minus 20 is equal to 0. So, hanapin natin yung sum. Ang sum ay negative b over a. So, negative, copy ulit kasi yung nasa formula. And then, value ng b which is negative a over value ng a which is 2. So, negative times negative 8 is positive 8 over 2 or 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, ang sum of the roots ay 4. Ano naman yung product? So, product is C over A is equal to anong value ng C? Negative 20. Value ng A ay 2. So, negative 20 divided by 2 is negative 10. So, ito naman yung product of the roots. So, therefore, the sum and product of the rules of 2w squared minus 8w minus 20 is equal to 0 ay 4 and negative 10 respectively. Next, x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. Naka-standard form ulit. 
Ngayon, anong ang value ng A ay imaginary 1? Ang value ng B ay 3. Ang value ng C ay 2. So, hanapin natin yung sum. Ang sum ay negative B over A. So, substitute ulit tayo. Negative sa formula. And then, value ng B is 3 over value ng A, which is 1. So, negative 3 divided by 1 is negative 3. And ano naman yung product? Ang product ay C over A. So, substitute ulit. Ang value ng C ay 2. Ang value ng A ay 1. So, 2 divided by 1 is 2. So, yun yung product naman. So, ang sum and product of the roots of x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 ay negative 3 and 2. So, ngayon, paano naman kapag given yung sum and product? Kunin natin yung quadratic equation. So, baliktad naman, no? Kanina ang given yung equation, pinukuha natin yung sum and product. May naman, ang given yung sum and product, kukunin natin yung equation. So, i-rewrite natin yung uh, equation into standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. No? And, ang formula in finding the equation is x squared minus sum of the roots. Ano daw yung sum? Doon ilalagay. Isasubstitute doon. Multiplied by x plus product of the roots. Yun naman yung product of the roots. Isasubstitute doon. So, therefore, kung ito yung ating ax squared, eto yung yung sum eto naman yung ating value ng b at yung product yun yung value ng c no so let's try so x squared minus kasi yun yung sabi x squared minus sum of the goods ano yung sum sabi negative 3 so negative 3 multiplied by x plus product of the roots, ang product ay 2, is equal to 0. So, simplify pa natin kasi mayroong negative tsaka negative 3. So, x squared negative times negative 3 times x. So, meron tayong positive 3x or x squared plus 3x na. Then, plus 2 is equal to 0. So, eto ating quadratic equation kapag ang given ay sub and product of the roots. Next, another example. So, sum and product ulit ang given. So, i-rewrite natin into standard form. Ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Ang roots, ang sum of the roots ay 5. Ang product of the roots ay 6. So, x squared minus sum of the roots multiplied by x plus product of the roots is equal to 0. So, substitute natin. x squared minus kasi yun yung nasa formula. So, ano yung sum of the roots? 5 multiplied by x plus product of the roots which is 6 is equal to 0. So, x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Kung mapapansin nyo ha, yung value ng b, yun yung sum. Nababago lang yung sign. Kapag ang given na sum ay nag-positive, pag ginawa mo siyang equation, magiging negative siya sa equation. No? Pero yung value ng c, yun naman yung product. Kung ano yung sign ni product, hindi mababago sa equation. So, si letter B lang, yung, product, yung sum lang ang mababago yung sign. So, therefore, x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 yung ating quadratic equation. Another example, given ulit yung sum and product, ang sum natin dito ay 3 halves. And then, ang product natin ay negative 10. So, kukunin natin yung standard form. So, x squared minus sum of the roots multiplied by x plus product of the roots is equal to 0. Substitute, x squared. Ano yung sum of the roots? 3 halves. 
So, 3 halves multiplied by x plus product of the roots which is negative 10. So, negative 10 is equal to 0. Eh, may 3 halves tayo dyan. So, mumultiply natin yan sa 2. Both sides of the equation, the whole equation, i-multiply sa 2. Sa nang galing yung 2? Yun yung denominator ng 3 halves. No? So, mumultiply natin yung 2 kay x squared, tsaka kay 3 halves x, tsaka kay negative 10. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 times x squared is 2x squared. And then, 2 multiplied by 3 halves multiplied by x then plus negative 10 multiplied by 2 is equal to 0. Simplify. 2x squared minus. So, makakancel out si 2 and 2. Yung denominator na 2 at saka yung minultiply natin na 2. So, matitiran tayo ng negative 3x plus 2 times negative 10. So, 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 20. So, therefore, ang ating equation ay 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 is equal to 0. Paano kapag ang given ay rules of quadratic equation? Kukunin natin yung equation. So, ang gamitin natin ay sum and product. No? Um... In this example, ang roots natin ay negative 5 at 4. So, kunin natin yung sum. Ang sum niya ay negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. And then, the product is negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. Ang sabi ko kanina, ang value ng D sa equation, siya yung sum of the roots. So, pero pag nilagay natin siya sa equation, mababago yung sign. So, kung negative, magiging positive. Kung positive, magiging negative. And then, yung product, siya yung value ng C. So, ang magiging equation natin dyan ay x squared plus x. Bakit plus x? Kasi 1 yung sum. So, imaginary 1 pag nilagay sa equation. And then, bakit plus? Kasi nga, nabago yung sign. Minus 20 is equal to 0. So, ayan yung magiging equation. Another example, roots are 4 and 5. So, syempre, sum and product pa rin yung bagamitin natin. So, ang sum yan ay 4 plus 5 is 9. Ang product niyan ay 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So, ang value ng B ay yung sum. Babagulin yung sign pag nilagay sa equation. And then, ang value ng C ay yung product. Next, ang magiging equation natin dyan ay x squared minus 9x. Kasi nga, binagay yung sign. Plus 20 is equal to 0. So, ayan yung equation. Another example, negative 4 and negative 8 ang roots. So, sum and product pa rin. Ang sum yan ay negative 4 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 12. Next is negative 4 times negative 8 is 32. So, ito ulit yung value ng B, yung sum, at ang value ng C ay 32. Or yun yung kanyang product. So, ang magiging equation natin ay x squared plus 12x plus 32 is equal to 0. So, ayan yung magiging equation. So, thank you again. Sana may natutunan kahit pa paano.